If you are looking to find specific data, we have two very useful tools under the Analysis tab, the Query tool and the Filter tool. The difference between the two is that the Query tool will simply find and highlight the data that you are asking it for, whereas the Filter tool literally filters out anything that doesn't meet your criteria, so it only shows you what you're looking for. Let's go with the Query tool. So we're going to use the All Wells layer, so this is all the, wells that, all the layers that we have available to us in this particular map. Uh, we're going to use our current extent and leave it at all the following must be true. This drop down shows you all of the different fields in the data table that you can work with. So we're going to use the well depth field and that's in meters. We're going to build an expression that says find any well that has a depth greater than, let's do 300. So when it's finished, you just push the search button at the bottom. And as you can see, they have highlighted all the wells that have a depth greater than 300 meters. So it'll appear in the left panel here as a results panel. So you can scroll through your results. It'll tell you how many have been returned. There's been a total of 196 returned for us that meet that criteria. And as you hover over a result in this left panel, you can see that it is high, it is reflected to the right there in the map to show you what result that is referring to. You can see it move there. And then if you want further information about that particular well, if you click on the little dot dots here, it allows you to buffer it. It allows you to zoom to it remove it completely from the results and you can also view it in tabular format here the additional details of that well if you click the back button here it'll take you to the query results where you have the option to switch to a table view or export the returned results to a CSV, Excel a file or a shape file. And then just to get back into that individual results, you just click the arrow, it takes you right back in. It's very important that when you're done um, working with the query tool to make sure that you close your results. Otherwise they will stay applied to your map. So just make sure you exit the query and then it will be removed. A fun query to try is if you query on a field name called the secondary purpose. And here it lists some um, words for you, but that is not an exhaustive list. It's just showing the first few um, options. If you start typing, it will show you additional options. So we're going to just query based on anything that has any well that has a secondary purpose of a geotech test hole and see what we get. Now these this secondary purpose is based on a variety of clues provided through the MOE WWIS wells. And we have assigned this secondary purpose to our well similar to the PTTW. So let's see what we find. So it's highlighted these here, except there's a very important thing I'm going to show you. So if we click on one of these wells, you'll see that the secondary purpose is geotech test hole. However, it is not highlighted. That is because the results that we have been returned, we've been returned, you know, a thousand results and the tool will be severely bogged down if it tries to show and highlight all thousand of those wells. So what it does is it it's highlighting them in groups of 50. So if you say page like page 2, you'll see that it highlight and then the next page it highlights a different set of the results. So you can just go through the pages here. And this is just so that it it runs faster 
for the user and, and it doesn't get bogged down. And so yeah, that query is showing you all wells that have a secondary purpose of a geotech. You can go back to your query and adjust your query if you'd like to show you something different. This is what happens if you click add condition. So this must be true and this must be true. Or you can change this to say at least one of the following must be true. You can delete a condition there if you decide to change your mind. A subclause. And again, you have the ability to delete anything that you create there. And when you're done querying, just click cancel and it will disable the tool. So similarly to the query tool, there's also a filter tool. It performs in much the same way. So we're going to make sure we have our all wells. All of the following must be true. And let's filter based on the secondary purpose. So let's see about these geotech test holes. So you just click filter. And when you do this, um, it will remove all the wells that do not meet our criteria. So every well that does not have a secondary purpose of a geotech test hole. So hopefully you didn't miss that, but it did remove some wells there. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. And that's perhaps why the query tool did not, um, it's probably not your best choice. You'd probably want to use the filter tool for this particular query or filter. And then when you are done, you just make sure that you push clear. And once you do that, all the other wells will reappear once again. It is very important that you do that because if you do not push clear, that filter will remain on your map. So if you accidentally don't push clear and you close this, you will have to go back into the filter tool and clear that query before your other wells will reappear. Let's just do one more. So if we, let's query secondary purpose again. Maybe let's look for recharge wells filter. So as you can see, it's a super handy tool. It's like finding a needle in a haystack with these, there's thousands of wells and it instantly found you a few that are recharge wells. So we'll just clear that. Boom, they all come back and perfect.